Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com and in this video I'm collaborating with Fabrics.com to bring you an amazing swing dress sew with me video that's not only quick but it looks amazing and it's going to be awesome for your next holiday gathering. The pattern that we're going to be using for this tutorial is New Look Pattern 0945. This is a great and amazing swing dress pattern. It's really easy to sew. You're only going to have three or four pieces depending on which view that you choose. You can have various lengths. You can even have a high low hem different sleeve variations, and then you can have the collar or just the neckband. The fabric that we're going to be using for this video, I'm going to be using a beautiful burgundy stretch velvet from fabrics.com. Absolutely love this fabric. It looks amazing. I'm also going to add lining to my dress. This is totally optional. You don't need lining. The pattern does not call for it, but it's just my personal preference. I just want to add just an extra layer for my dress, and this is the terracotta burgundy. It feels amazing as well. Just enough stretch that's right for my stretch velvet. Before we get started, just a couple tips and tricks that I want to just show you that will probably help you if this is your first time sewing with velvet. I know velvet is really popular right now, but there's still a lot of sewers who still stay away from it. The first thing I do want to caution you about is that velvet does have a nap on it, so you really have to be cautious of how you lay your pieces. Just make sure they're all going in the same direction. You don't want one piece to be up and the other piece facing down because that will give you a lighter, uh, more sheen side of the velvet or maybe the front of your dress, but then the back of it, it would be the darker, more richer color. So just make sure that you have your pieces all going facing the same direction when you cut them out. The second tip with sewing with stretch velvet is your proper needle. Now I have here the jersey and stretch needles. Definitely make sure that your needle is a ballpoint jersey needle because this is stretch fabric. So you want to make sure that you have the right and proper needle when you're sewing with velvet. I'm going to go with the jersey ballpoint needle for this sew along video. The next tip I want to share with you is a walking foot. Now a walking foot is definitely recommended when sewing with velvet because it's slippery. When the pieces are together they tend to slide amongst each other. So a walking foot is definitely a, a recommendation to use when you're sewing with velvet. The bottom of it has feed dogs so it will help the top layer of your fabric glide through as the bottom feed dogs on your machine glide through the bottom layer. So if you have a walking foot this is definitely the time to use it. If you don't have a walking foot that's not a problem. Just use your regular presser foot. Just make sure that you are starting out slow and decreasing your pressure on your machine as you start sewing. The next tip that I want to share really quickly is pins. You will use a lot of pins when sewing with velvet or you can also use basing adhesive. You can spray this on the seam allowance of your fabric and stick them together. It will hold them in place, essentially basing them in place until you take them to the sewing machine and put your permanent stitch in. So this is definitely an option if you're not that big on pinning. However, pinning is still recommend it <laughs> but if you just want to try something new definitely give spray adhesive a try and I'm going to demonstrate how to use it now. Spray adhesive is really awesome because it doesn't leave any uh, sticky residue on your clothing once you're done with it. So I've already did a sample right here. I sprayed it and you can see the pieces are still stuck together here at the seam allowance. So let's do another demonstration here. You will need something to lie down on your surface so that you're not messing up the bottom of your surface. So definitely get you a piece of paper. This is just some computer paper that I'm using. And I'm just going to take a scrap piece of fabric right here and lay it down. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to take something else that you can lay over it just so you only have the seam allowance showing where you want to spray. If you spray and get all of this um, spray and you don't need it, then it will stick as well. We only need the seam allowance to stay. So we're going to put the paper right here on our seam allowance, shake your spray up, and all you have to do is just lightly spray it. When you lift it up, you can clearly see that only the seam allowance has spray on it. You can grab your piece, stick it on there in place where it needs to be. And now you can go straight to the sewing machine and sew your pieces. Alright, so we're all ready to get started sewing. I'm going to be sewing view A with the long sleeve and the collar. Make sure that you have your 12 inch zipper, coordinating thread, and we can get started. Alrighty, so the first step to sewing our dress is to put stay stitching around the top neck edges of our pieces. So make sure that you look at your diagram so you can put your stitches in the right direction. Once we have our stay stitching done, the next thing for us to do is put our pieces, our front and back right sides facing. And now we can pin our sides together on the side. So go ahead and find your notches and just start pinning your sides down on both sides of your dress. Once you have both sides pinned down, we can go ahead and sew them together now. 
Now I'm comfortable with sewing with stretch velvet, so I'm not using my walking foot. However, if you're not, please do so. I did just wanna show you how slowly I am starting off with my stitches, so I make sure that all my layers stay together while I'm sewing. Next step is to take our sleeves. You should have transferred your markings for your dart. Now we can go ahead and fold that over and pin that down so we can sew our dart down on our sleeves. After we have the dart sewn, the next thing for us to do is to put our sleeve right sides together and go ahead and pin it down. Once you have your sleeve pinned together, we're going to sew that down first and then once we have the sleeve sewn down, then we're going to put a narrow hem on the edge of our sleeve. So first go ahead and sew it down and then when you're done, put your narrow hem at the end of your sleeve. Now I did want to do another demonstration on how to use the uh, spray adhesive, the basting adhesive. So right here I'm just cutting a napkin in half because that's the closest thing I have to me. <laughs> so I'm going to place it up under just to protect my surface. Once I have my bottom protected, I'm going to do the same for the top and just only expose the seam allowance that needs to be uh, basted together. So once I have that, I'm going to grab my spray adhesive give it a little shake and then go ahead and spray only my seam allowance like I did before in a little previous demonstration. So I'm doing the same exact thing there. Next, I'm gonna take away the napkin and then you can see that only the seam allowance has the uh, sticky glue on it. So with right sides together, I'm very carefully putting those pieces together. Then I'm gonna press it down just to stick it in place. And now we can go straight to the sewing machine and sew our sleeve down. And remember, once you have that sewn down, you can go ahead and put a narrow hem at the bottom of that sleeve also. So once our sleeves are finished, now we can go ahead and attach them to our dress. So what you want to do is line up your side seams, line up your notches, and start pinning your sleeve in place. Once you have it all pinned around, we can go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and sew it. Once we have our sleeves attached to our dress, the next step for us to do is attach our collar. So you want to take your collar piece and put it right sides together on your dress and go ahead and pin it down. I will caution you, you will have to stretch your collar to fit. Be careful though not to stretch your dress and only stretch your collar. Once you have it pinned, we can sew it together. So the next step to sewing our dress is to install our invisible zipper. Now there are tons of methods for installing an invisible zipper, so just use whichever method is best for you. But as you can see, I have my zipper face down, I have my dress right side up, and the ends of my zipper tape are lined up with the edge of my dress. So go ahead and pin that down and then we can put a basting stitch in it like I did here. Once you have that basting stitch in, then you can do the same exact thing to the other side of your dress. So right here, I'm just putting pins on the other side of my dress. I'm lining up the zipper tape with the edge of my raw edge of my dress. Once you have your zipper basted in, you want to go over that with your permanent stitches, making sure that you remove the coils of your zipper as you go. So go ahead and put the permanent stitches in your zipper, and then we can go ahead and sew down the center back seam of our dress. So go ahead and pin that, and then we can sew that down. Once the center seam is sewn, you can go ahead and take the excess parts from your zipper and go ahead and sew those to the seam allowance only. Okay, so the next step is to finish off our collar. So what we need to do is press under 3 eighths of an inch on the raw edge of our collar. So we can go ahead and press that down and once you have it pressed down, you're going to open out your zipper. You want to move over the excess from the top and fold it down so that that uh, edge that you just pressed under lines up with your seam for your collar. So it will look a little something like that once you have it pressed down. We're going to sew as close as we can to the zipper teeth, but be sure not to stitch on them just as close as you can to them. Once you're all done sewing that side of the collar down, you should be able to flip it inside and you should just have a clean finish right there on the edge. So it should look a little something like that, and but what you want to do is go back on the inside and make sure you click off, clip off that excess zipper tape and just clean up any loose threads that you have. The next step for us to do is to take the 3 8 of an inch that we pressed under for our collar and we're going to put it over our collar seam allowance. And so we're going to put our pins on the outside because we need to stitch in the ditch of that seam. So you want to just go ahead and do that all the way around your collar, making sure that your 3 8 of an inch is covering up your seam allowance. Once you have that all done, it should be pinned down on the outside so you can see it. And then we'll go ahead and put our stitch in the ditch in that seam on the outside. 
The last thing for us to do is to put a narrow hem at the bottom of our dress. And once you have that complete, your dress is all done. Thank you so much for joining me with another Sew With Me video. I really do hope that you were successful at making yours. You're going to look amazing at your next holiday gathering in your dress. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Blessings, everyone. Bye.